Tennessee Governor Bill Lee signed a groundbreaking law Thursday designed to shield artists from unauthorized artificial intelligence impersonations. The Ensuring Likeness, Voice and Image Security, or Elvis Act, addresses growing concern among artists about deep fake technology and AI impersonations that mimic their own voices. For the first time, it recognizes an artist's voice as a protected personal right and sets stricter guidelines on the use of someone's name, image, and appearance. The really great thing about this is Tennessee is the first in the nation to enact this legislation. And what that means is that this will be, this will be a blueprint, and we expect that it, will, that it will be enacted multiple times over multiple states, and at some point that artists all across America will be protected because of what started here in the music capital of the world. So um, we will ensure that no one can steal the voices of, of Tennessee artists. And I believe that what we're doing here today will ensure that no one will steal the voices of American artists once this uh, is enacted across the country. The law has support from the music community. Governor Lee, alongside stars like Luke Bryan and Chris Jansen, signed the act at a local music venue known as a honky tonk and called it the coolest bill signing ever. What an amazing um, stance or um, precedent to set for the state of Tennessee to get in front of this to know that our state protects us and what we're about and what we work so hard for. And now, in the last coming years, we've been coming under attack a little bit, faking the voices. I know he's dealt with it. I've dealt with it too. I heard a demo a while back. I said, I don't even remember writing that song. They went, uh, you didn't. I said, okay, we gotta put a stop to this right now. The bill also received backing from the music industry and the human artistry campaign which is a worldwide effort by entertainment groups advocating for a thoughtful use of AI. In the U.S., the protection of publicity rights covering one's name, likeness, and voice differs from state to state. The Elvis Act updates the Personal Rights Protection Act of 1984, which was first enacted to protect Elvis Presley's publicity rights posthumously.